Okay, so... Welcome, everyone, to the Predator World Women's 10-Ball Championships. Sponsored by Predator Q's Ocean Billiard Academy, Q Sports International, Kamui Alpha Coin, Rumza Puerto Rico, and Fargo Rate. This tournament is a double elimination, first stage, race to seven, second stage, or final stage, race to nine. For the final 16 players, 64 women playing for 148,000 euros. 30,000 dollar, 30,000 euro first prize. And it's being played on the Predator Apex tables with Arcadia Cloth, Arena Lights, Arcos Balls. And we are at the Sporks Park Hall in beautiful Klagenfurt, Austria. This is George Teichan, and I'm joined by Europe's former number one ranked player, Moscone team captain, Marcus Schamat, bringing you the live action. Mm. Thanks, George. Go for it. Uh, so we got a really num nice matchup here. Philippines versus Poland. And uh, there's a former world champion, 40-year-old mm. Rubilin Amit. Yeah, she won the world WPA World Championships in 2009 and 2013. She's off to a start here with a dry break, but n no opening on the one ball. Is there, Marcus? Yeah, she, she's got to push out here. Zabek. Monika Zabek, a 29-year-old player from Poland. Oh, 25 plus junior medalist in Poland. Yeah, well I had a word, or we had a word with her earlier. And oh. she, I asked her what's her biggest achievement. And she told me when she won the uh, Junior European Championships and and uh, as a senior was the last uh, Euro Tour, she ended up in the semifinals. So, you know. Yeah, so the Euro, Euro uh, Youth Championships. Yeah. She was first and second in the second one. Yeah. So she's that. And, a couple and of as those. for the Filipino, Rubelin, sh obviously she has won a lot of uh, titles. If people don't know, she won the World Championships twice in, in her home country in Manila. And she's, she resides in Manila, which is a huge uh, capital in mm -hmm. Asia. I mean, uh, millions and millions live there. Traffic is, is crazy. Yeah, you've been <laughs> there. Yeah. You should know. Yeah. Uh, and winning that in front of your home crowd, you know, Nothing thousands better. of screaming Filipinos, it should be amazing. But she told me that uh, one, is one of her biggest achievements is winning the SEA Games uh, last year. Yeah, she and did. And all of the years of pandemic, knowing that she can really w win and do good again. So well, That's a nicely struck ball. Yeah. That was a nice stroke on that ball. Monica. Monica Zabek. Yeah. She started to play pool when she was 11, Monica. Right. That's early. Right. Pick up a cue and start to play. This is the third. This is the second round losers match. Monica wa lost her first match to April Larson, nice, seven nice to speed. five, and then she defeated Hanan Mimik, seven to five. So she's played quite a bit. Mm -hmm. That's twenty-five, well, twenty-four games that she's played. So she's a, you know, probably in tune to the tables. Nice little layout here. So lady in red, you can tell both of them are ladies in red. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> both wearing a, a red top. You know what's nice about that, Marcus, is both both of them had display the name of their country on their back. Mm -hmm. Polska Filipino. and Philippines. Proud to be Pinoy. Yep. Like Pinoy's are Filipinos. It's like uh, the Brazilians in, in football. It's like the samba of, of football. It's all about football. Yeah, she's a football player. Not now, but she no, she, she played used it for be, years. Yeah. yeah, she played it for years. She said that was uh, her sport. Yeah. She stopped playing pool to play football. She took some years off and played football. Maybe I should challenge her in Poland against Sweden in football. Oh, there you let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That's a good idea. Uh oh. Oof. Ooh, I thought she had caught yeah. that corner there. That was so close. You know, when you hit that ball and you watch it roll slow like that, mm -hmm. doesn't that make your heart race yeah. sometimes? <laughs> just hit <laughs> See, the knuckle and then went in, yeah. Well, she's looking good through this rack. She started it off with a great shot. Oh, confident mm. stroke. Yeah, she was uh, 
a defensive player in uh, in football mm -hmm. and then you got to be tough you know yeah. i don't know if you know a lot about football or soccer as you call it and so George, the it's the uh, and I, I, know, I know that game inside and out i played it, it myself well in the US obviously i'm very short so uh -huh. i wasn't a defender you know <laughs> no i was no. on in midfield okay because i'm short well the right? midfielders direct yeah. traffic don't they but what you need to be as as a defender is where she played in the, in the center you need mm -hmm. to be really tough and take down the balls because they're coming high so you need to be really tough and, and aggressive so don't mess about with her she'll she'll <laughs> <laughs> she'll, <laughs> she'll knock, knock you around down. okay <laughs> well she's about knocked she's knocked down this rack it looks like this 10 ball to take the first game and a race to seven and she likes nine balls her favorite game so there's not much difference to 10 ball that goes to 10 1 0 for Monica it's ruble in she is sponsored by Perry Q's 40 year old Rublin from Manila, Philippines. It should be breaking next as it's an alternate break format. And now they're playing WPA rules for the no early tens. Yeah, it's a nice start for her. Run out first rack gives you a lot of confidence. Especially, the, I, I just like the way she shot the very first shot. Yeah. Strong stroke, and then from there it was just everything laid out, and she stayed with it. And stayed in line the whole time. Ruby Lin, of course, two-time world champion, WPA world champion in 2009-2013. Uh, broke first, so she will get the break now. Monica breaking the balls. In this alternate break format, it's important to hold your uh, hold your break. Four ball, no. Five. The five balls side, yeah. went in, trying to figure out how she's breaking, and made a ball, but nothing to do with the one ball. That's a good push here. Yeah, you gotta push down to the end of the table. I think I would. Yeah, since the one ball doesn't have a yeah, doesn't, doesn't have, have a pocket. Open, yeah. yeah. Yeah, over by the eight. Like this, option? maybe. Mm -hmm. Make sure your opponent to get to play a good safety uh, or something. I don't think she's going to get that back. Do you? It's the first look of Rublin from Philippines, former world champion. Oh, she's banking it. She's obviously, it obviously corner. her favorite player is. Who do you think? Uh, <laughs> same one as mine. Efren <laughs> ba Batarres. Yes, yeah, the magician. You know, I did a movie with Efren in the Philippines oh, a few years you? ago, yeah. Did you? It calls Partners. Okay. Not Partners, Partners. Partners. Yeah, so you can you can look it up on the internet, George. I will. I will look it up. Partners. Efren is, uh, we did a, a movie together with a famous movie star in the Philippines, Fernando Po Jr. Okay. And he, his nickname was Mr. A Mr. Action, I think. Because he was an action movie. Okay, he was an action movie. And uh, Efren is that famous. They wanted to do a movie with Efren. Wow. And I was in the uh, Philippines that time, so Efren contacted me and said, you want to mm -hmm. include in this movie? And well, we did good it. for you. It was fun, a different experience. That's funny, because I have a little experience with Efren. I, uh, about watch, five watch out the seven here. Might get in play. It's going to go by it, I hope, for her sake. No. No, it didn't. But uh, about six years ago. Yeah. I uh, went to L.A. to play Efren. Mm -hmm. They brought him over, and he was going to be playing in Derby City, so he wanted to practice playing one pocket. And he offered anybody 10-7 and play for $100 a set, race to three, but you had to guarantee three races. And I won the first race against him. And the, the great thing about it was it was it was live-streamed, and they put it on YouTube, and I get to watch it over again mm -hmm. and just watch Efren play. Just like yours, you know, it's on mm -hmm. it's on the screen. It's awesome. Yeah, but I don't watch uh, the, that movie that much <laughs> anymore. No, no, I don't watch it. <laughs> every once in a while, cool. I'll take a look at that. <laughs> Whoa! What a nice shot. What a jump shot from Monica here. You know, after that shot, you just might go ahead and, ba and, and bank this uh, this four ball in. 
You think she will? Uh, it's a nice control think, shot think, in good uh, position. I think she's going to play. Uh, well, you I can go bank or play safe. That's like uh, the two options you have, I think. To like to play s safety. Living distance. Mm -hmm. That's the percentage shot, I would say. Mm -hmm. An aggressive shot. So, yeah. Rubelin, what does she like to do? She likes to study, read books. Mm -hmm. She likes to learn. She learn, said. yeah, about things. When she's not playing pool. Our shot clock. Predator Q, She's uh, sponsored by Predator. Philippines. She's playing with the, uh, the Predator P3 in the advantage shaft. She'll be fusing later on with Philippines taking on. Oh, that was uh, close. The Great Britain. That would be a amazing match this <laughs> later afternoon. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now they've lost already. Six haven't superstars they? taking on. Huh? N the Philippines lost one of their matches already, didn't they? No. They still. Uh, They're playing uh, Great Britain. Winners I. Okay. I thought they had lost. No, no, no. Maybe they were just trailing when I checked it. My mistake. Oh, now she's okay. A little longer than she wants to be, but. It's a long six ball here. <laughs> Displays her uh, sponsors proudly. Watch her stroke here. Nice little stroke. This Follow needs to hurry up. Yeah. This needs to run. All right. Oh, she had to come underneath the eight. Yeah. If she hits the rail and hits the eight, you know where it's going. Or draw it. Maybe she. I don't know. Let's see what kind of angle she. Oh, she went into the eight. Well, she recognized it, that there was danger, didn't she? Yeah. So let's see where she's gonna go here in the side pocket or the corner. It all depends what kind of angle. You try to read the angle and yeah, she's going in the corner it looks like. Yeah. Oh the cue ball's gonna be okay, but she's left a long shot. Yeah, I think for the side if she would have gone for the side she had to uh, worry about that corner pocket scratch. If I would have coached her, I, th I think I would have coached her to shoot in the side. The side? Yeah, oh. because the, the corner, she had the kind of the wrong angle. In the cue was traveling towards the side pocket. Mm -hmm. So, Filipino stroke here. Oh, <laughs> she dropped it. It wasn't easy. Maybe she went, she should have went rail first or something. A lot of distance. Ruby Lin won her first round match from Yi Yun Su and then lost to a strong German player, Ina Kaplan. Nice safety, nice she speed here. She won 7 0 and lost 7 5. Ruby Lin. So, in her free time, she likes to spend time with her family. Home time, mm -hmm. time she said. And unlike the other Filipinos, she don't sing or she don't oh, that's uh, right. sa dance. <laughs> unlike other Filipinos, yeah, she says, I don't sing or dance. Oh, oh bang. nice <laughs> try. It's going to get uh, in a good place. If you're going to miss the ball, that's the best way to miss it. Yeah. Now, will she play safe or just bank it back? That's the yeah. player's yeah. choice, the percentage, yeah. right? What, that's she that's calls? what would you do with that ball? Probably oh. bank Oh, back. Yeah, back you back, back it. So Where is she I. at? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Her speed, she's not going to like the speed on that ball. So, easy tempo for Monica. Game number two. Go up 2 nothing. Probably reaching the semi final last, last year to give her a big confidence build. 
if she would go on and win this match, beating the world champion. Oh, yeah. Then she might be on a real high doing some, going real deep in this world championships. Who knows? Well, this would be, uh, she's got a ways to go because once you lose that first match, you've got a longer road mm -hmm. than on the winner's side. Referee John Lehman from New York. So races to seven here. Alton to break. Thirty thousand dollars for the first loser place. of this match. The loser of this match is out. Is yes. And that means for Monica is if she's out, she's not playing anymore because she's not on the Polish team. Ah. They're so playing with done. Olivia. Right. For Rubelin. If she is out, she still, she still have her country to carry on her shoulders. Together with Chua and Biado. Car Carlo Biado. Ninja Turtle. Johan. Ninja Turtle. Biado. Ninja Turtle, is that what you call? Yeah. He looks like the ninja, one of the Ninja Turtles. I thought his nickname was the Black Tiger. Yeah, that's his name, but I, I made up a new nickname. Oh, okay. <laughs> All of them, have all of the Filipinos, they have nicknames. Do you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Bata, I you know what bata, bata means? Ba kid. Yeah. How about Django, Bustamante? Django, uh, I'm not sure what Django, Django means, is but Francisco is. Yeah, Django one comes of my from a. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a uh, serious a cowboy. It was a cowboy in uh, one of the movies, right? And he was shooting really fast. So they made a nickname, Django, because okay. he was shooting. Oh, he shoots real <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah when you watch his stroke up close, when he pulls back the cue, the ferrule comes through his finger, through his bridge. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ferrule comes through the bridge all the way back and then right through back again. He got it, you know, he goes back and forth and it, yeah. it hits the, the rail, <laughs> you know, like nobody yeah. has that style, yeah. huh? And then, and then he goes through all the way to the joint. Yeah. Well, she's in line again. Good line on the three to go to the four, the five. Look how nice this lays out. This is like a drill almost. Try Seven is the only ball that's laying a fairly difficult spot. Yeah, but the good thing about it though is the, the six ball's right there and, and it's easy to get to where, where she is right now to get for the seven. Right where the cue ball is now. Then you have Parika among among Parika. I think among means among. kid as well or younger. Does young, it? Yeah. Jose Parika. He Jose. just started playing again. He had. He, I hadn't seen what him play he? for 70? a long time. Uh, Parika is. He's older than Efren. Efren is. Yes, he's older 65 than Efren. Sixty-five. I think Parika is close to seventy. Yeah, he's. Uh, I just saw him. Uh, I think it was in Vegas just recently. And I, in fact, when I got to, I got to commentate his match, mm -hmm. and I, the I, how did he play I was like a little kid. I was like a little kid commentating his match. I was mm -hmm. so excited to commentate that match for him. Great player, Parika. Mm -hmm. One of my, uh, probably the favorite player when I first saw him in the U.S. when I came over. Well, you know, yeah, uh, such a, such a great player all games you know one of the things about Parika is when is when you look at his I googled him to get all his you know information and stuff like that I usually google the players and he had a whole page of accomplishments and yeah. uh, tournaments and things just a powerful nice shot there from, yeah. from Monica getting a perfect angle on the seven this she's is looking real real strong here this is to go up three nothing putting all the pressure on Rublin Rublin hasn't really had an easy opportunity so far. It's been all Monica this match so far. Well, she's she's been the one that starts out. Mm -hmm. They've uh, they battled back and forth to get to she the shot. She drew first blood, yeah. running out the first rack, and then it's been. She's got a table at home. She said. Yes, she did. Favorite player is uh, Mishko Fortunski. Fortunski, Polish. I asked her who she patterned her game after, and she said all players. Mm. And look at them all. A little all. bit, of, a little, a little bit, bit of, of everything. Favorite 
okay with the American players you had as well when we asked her? That when, was you, when you were in there, I was yeah, thinking, was I'm going to give George uh, a little <laughs> <laughs> encouragement, you know. Yeah, for game and uh, there's nobody three. else then. SVB. Yeah, I think Shane is pretty much everybody's favorite American player, or one of them. Mine is Earl. I love Earl. <laughs> <laughs> no, my my favorite American player is Earl. Is Earl, yeah. I love. He's Earl. such a. You know, it's like a, a love and hate relationship. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, when he plays, you just gotta watch because you don't really know what's gonna happen. Well, I'll give you a little funny story about Earl. In 1989, uh, they were doing uh, this uh, tour through Phoenix, and you paid ten dollars to play him one game. So I played him one game. And then with that $10, you also got a little Polaroid uh, picture with him. And about, I think it's been about four years now, he was in Tucson visiting a friend, so I played him at the pool hall, and then I invited him to my house and played him at the house. Well, when he played me at my house, he played better than any person I have ever seen play pool. Mm -hmm. He was just, and after we were done, he kind of got his stick and he just looks over and he says, I played pretty good, didn't <laughs> I? <laughs> That was uh, j just, uh, and he was a perfect gentleman, everything about it. Look at this uh, break from Monica here, straight in. All she have to do is she has to play the angles here. Yes, well, she has to get back on this two ball. She's straight Just follow in. it straight in and go into the rail and out. She doesn't have to cheat it a little bit, yeah. There you go. Well, the six ball, she's going to have to get up on top. She's going to have to travel the cue ball the length of the table to play the six ball on the side. Come across the 10 or right at the 10 with the cue oh. ball? Oh! Ooh. She overcut it. Yeah, she didn't leave much. That was much. the first mistake from her. It's a Rubelin. Not not any anything easy for Ruben. Mm -hmm. She's in a tough place. So when sh when you win, she won the sea games in Asia, which the the biggest games uh, over there in Asia. They play all kind of different. It's like the World Games. You play them b them sports, and they're not, they're not in the Olympics. And when you win that kind of stuff, you get to meet the president over mm -hmm. in the Philippines. You get rewarded. Some, b some bonus, and then you get a medal, and it's huge for them. Yeah, she said she it's had her 10th yeah. medal was very important to her. Oh, she did go for bank. the bank. Yes. I Good try. I was wondering if she was going to go for it. I don't think she had she anything else but to go. Monica here, yeah. Oh, there we go. It was a good effort. I think. Yes, definitely. I also think it was the right shot all the way. Yeah. Because it was hard to play safe there. She's calling the two in the side here. Mm -hmm. So making sure she's going to look at the spot where she's going to. I was torturing Ralph last night when we were commentating on one of the players from Bulgaria. He used the mirror system. As when he kicking as a reference. Mm -hmm. So you were torturing Ralph Eckert. Yeah, tell tell me about it because I, don't, I've never used it. I only kick by feel. Ah. And he said a lot of people do that. It's just that the only problem there is, if you don't play much, you kind of lose <laughs> your your feel for it. So you gotta really put in hours and play, and yeah. then you're gonna know the preference, uh, the oh. reference where you're gonna yeah. where you're gonna hit. I mean, rail first shots. Yeah, when you lose your feel, and then uh, reference point is very important. Mm. So sure Rubel in here so. with, a, with a good opportunity finally to get back in this match. Oh, this is this lies real nice. Just go past the center of the table here. A little bit of right low. Yeah. Table. Make sure you get a good angle. This, this you don't want to land on the rail here, because then. So, 
a little left here. Come down to the end rail and up. Watch out for the 10 here. Oh my. Oh, oh, I oh. I think she has a shot. She she gave up her hand and means she can oh. see it. So. Yeah, she hasn't had, she hasn't had a lot of chances. This is her first chance. Nice one. Now you come around. Oh, it's going to come around. Perfect. Just right. I thought it might just keep going. There's a nice, nice shot. View, yeah. Nice replay. Filipino style. Nice and loose. <laughs> <laughs> and here she gets on the board if she gets these two balls here. Just brings it back a little bit. You know, Filipino, have a, all, of, all of them have good pace around the table. Mm hmm. And what that does, it saves a lot of energy for yourself when you play. If you play too slow and too, if you give up, if you, if you pay attention to all the shots or all the positions too much, it takes too much energy out of you. And for players back home who's watching this, pay attention to different paces so on, the on, on the players. And some of them, when you're taking too long, it, it drains you, you know? Mentally? Mentally. You can survive one match, but playing a whole tournament could be tough. You need to get in the flow. You not too fast. I'm not so saying you're going to play like Tony Drago, you know, like in five seconds every shot, because everybody can't play like that. It's a, it's, a, it's a pure, different talent, you know, when you can play that fast. Yeah, you make great points, because uh, that's great for the mental game. So a good, a good rhythm at the table conserves your energy. Mm. Zrubelin, down 3-1. That was a big, big wreck for her to win, to get back in this match. Good view of the arena, which is probably one of the best we've seen here in uh, Klagenfurt. Three ball maybe in the corner? Yes. Yeah, down goes the three. Oh, uh, I'm not sure she can see the one. Nice break from here. Oh, it looks like she might be able to. Might be an edge on yeah. that one. If she can s Nice one. Nice shot from Rublin. Huh? Very, Beautiful. very nice shot. Perfect cue ball. Mm -hmm. He's got all the tools, the extension. Nice little flick of the seven. Leaves herself perfect position for the four. Make sure we get a good angle here on the five because you got the cube is gonna travel down to for you at the end rail is the six there. Like this. Watch out. Oh, she's this got a little tough, didn't it? I think she can follow it. Bump into the eight and it's going to follow down. down. Yep. Like this. Perfect. She so now rails. then, yeah, I mean, the eight and seven are on the same uh, side. So you want to either have a lot of angle or kind of no angle. Yeah. So, because if you want a lot of angle, you can come back and forth. Watch Ooh. out. She lost. I don't know about that. I thought she was just going to hit it and, and wrap it out of the I corner towards the I eight. I didn't understand what she, she went high. I wonder if she mis misread that that positional shot. Well, I think she was she was intending to come closer to the eight with the cue ball, but it went it went high. She hit it a little uh, little thicker. Safety in mind. And safety played. Look at this cue ball. Froze to the rail. Mm -hmm. That's a great safety. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Monica's safety game is. She's calling the tenor. 
banking the seven into the ten. Would you go off the right she side was, of the seven? She was seven? tapping the, the uh -huh. corner pocket, so I guess, or she banking the seven straight in. Ah, good effort. I guess it was on the, the bank. But it got double kissed. You would have played that bank. Well, it's hard from, from that kind of camera view where, where mm -hmm. what kind of angle she had, really. Watch out. Yeah, maybe she, this goes inside or she shoots it in the corner. Rubelin. Try to pull another one back. Level up 3 2. Corner. Nice one. Nice tempo on the cue ball. Okay, we're closing in. Rack number five to Amit. So pool is, is, is huge in the Philippines. For people who don't know, it's uh, maybe the third biggest sport in the Philippines. First you have basketball, then you have baseball, and then it's pool. I mean, Ef Ephraim and especially Ephraim and Django, and boxing, of course, you have Manny Pacquiao. Yep. Uh, <coughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's huge. There, there are, uh, you know, icons over there. And Rubelin is in news and in interviews. Celebrities over there. Manny Pacquiao's a pretty good player too. Yeah, I played him. I played him pool a few years ago in Manila. He's pretty good. I think I have to give him five out, five, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> breaks or something. <laughs> well. But he's good. I mean, he can. He's a fighter, put uh -huh. it that way. <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's, he's got the heart of <laughs> yeah, a fighter, exactly. so. So four in the side. Right. Six ball coming around. This looks no, like an open quite. shot. If the five goes, then she but goes, uh, no. The five blocks the corner. Does she have anything for the... By the look of it. Or it might... No, it looks like it just cleared. Trying to replace safety. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Rublin can contact the one directly or one is frozen. This is the second time she's left her with a shot that you can't tell if she can hit it or not. On a shot like that. She made the last one. And oh, she, she made, made this it, one. Yeah. And perfect speed almost on the, oh, on the two. Ball. I thought it was going to yeah. come perfect and it just slowed up there at the end. So a cut in the corner for Rublin here, trying to bump the seven afterwards. Oh, uh, she she missed the ball and the bump. Yeah. Long straight in. So Monica, she's up three to two. She missed a fairly two ball at three to zero, three to nothing, <laughs> where she was gonna go up four nothing, and four then nothing, now yeah. this is the next open opportunity for her. She's looking at the angle she wants to be. Would you consider playing this uh, rail first? No, I don't think I would. I think she have op more options. Does she? Yeah. But this is the problem. That's. Yeah. That was the reason for my question. Yeah. I mean, you can consider it, but it's yeah. just a matter how how confident you are with the table, kind of. 
But she needed to, to play that, that uh, shot with more pace, I think. Well, the jump cue, she's already jumped one and shown that she does and made it. She jumped it, but didn't make it. Let's see what kind of yes. shot Rublin is going to have. Yeah, long three ball. Airborne. Good replay. Watch the action on the on the jump shot. Ruben Let's see smiles. what happened now. Yeah. Might be safety, or she can see it. I don't know from that camera angle. It's awfully close. I don't think she can cut it to the side, but I think she may be able to bank it if she chooses. Jumping again, airborne. Oh, it's going to work out for her. Leaving a long three ball. Cuttable. So you have to stay down on this ball. Make sure you cut it nicely, nice from Rubli. And this is going to look good. Very nice in between the eight and the ten. See, down goes the three. Perfect speed with cue ball. And now it lays up very nice. She needs this to tie things up. You know why it have big strokes, the Filipinos? Huh? Do you know a reason why? Tell me. Oh, uh, you, do you know? No. <laughs> no. One of the biggest uh, the cloth? reason why is because if you go over there and play in some places, the cloth is, you know, 20 years old, you know. Yep. You c it doesn't matter what you do. You can't watch out for the cubal here. Uh, point. And the humidity. Yeah, humidity and uh, some places are really uh, ba poor condition for the table, yeah. right? So you need big stroke to travel the cubal. It was kind of so like I was wondering well, how come the Filipinos have such a big stroke and when I went over there it's like it's like in the jungle you know what I mean oh better watch out for the he's, he's okay. nice shot yeah so if you think uh, of the some of the the worst spots in, in the US like bad conditions uh, pool tables the south yeah for the south the south and then you triple that And humidity, mm -hmm. yeah, you, c you can imagine, right? Well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I totally get it. The cue ball won't run at all, so you have to have that stroke. Kind of like playing on the old fluffy cloth, remember that? Nappy. Nappy? Yeah. Yeah. This is a good bank shot. If you were a bank pool player, you'd shoot this all day, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think you gotta bank it. But she likes she's to shoot on the side, not it. not it's all it's a choice. Yeah, it's side she's pointing. Wow. Side is not it's okay too, I think. It's kinda what you feel feel like, you know. Nice one. Nice. No, Ooh. I thought she made it, hit the point first. She wanted to play the cue ball as well. So a long tumble from Monica here. In order for her to get up take the lead with 4-2 not easy I wonder if it's gonna roll it or if she's gonna because the, the corner the, the top right corner is in danger for Cuba oh very nice wow, shot. What a shot what a nice shot what a man. shot takes a two game lead with a great shot on the 10 ball those are some of the tougher shots in Cuba mm, don't you agree yeah yeah Marcus you, you gotta be in stroke in order to make yeah. that kind of shot. You gotta deliver the cue. She made it look pure. easy. All them hours practicing back home at her table probably paid off. Yes, they do. Well, we are at Klagenfurt, Austria, at the Sports Park Hall, and what a beautiful venue this is. 
There's a good look at everything going around, the space between the tables. John Lehman racking the balls with the arrow rack. There's a great view of everything. Mm -hmm. and you see the big screen up on top of the new screen where the players can watch themselves on this table. In fact, Ruben Lynn was, was up watching uh, uh, the results of one of her shots when she was in her chair. A little bit of a lag. BK rush. Eight ball. Mm -hmm. Shot on the one. Little elevated on the five. The Philippines are uh, good in tumble. They play a lot of tumble over in the Philippines. Well, they play a lot of 15, one ro 15 rotations, don't yeah. they? Yeah. 15 ball rotation as well, yeah. Filipino style. <laughs> If you can run 15, 10 balls a lot easier. You don't have the traffic. And they also play well over balls like this. Because, uh, well, they're vertically challenged. They're not very tall in general. So shots are stretching quite a bit. Part of the reason for the longer stroke, you think? Yeah. So Monica here with a safety. She will go for a safety. Bringing Cubo down table. Watch out for the corner. This might stay up. Yeah. Try to bring you some results from some of the other matches around the, the venue. Sour Sewa over Zing Ting Kua, 4-2 at the moment. Amalia Matas, 4-2 over Anna Riegler. Monica shot there. And it's just a stop shot for the two. Makes the one and she stops right there for the two. And in line. So big game here. If Monica can run these balls out, she'll be up five to two when they race the seven. That's that's a good cushion to have. Powerful stroke. That pretty straight in. A slight angle, I think. By the look of it. Watch out. Well, uh, uh, that kind of shot, I, I think she should have selected to go on the upper side of the three ball. With some right English. Okay. <laughs> Follow with right. It's gonna, it's gonna straighten out to, to the other side. Similar shot like she did, except you put some high right. Good point. That's good for the audience and for myself. Here's nice a nice shot. shot. That's a Watch out. Watch. very nice shot. Wow. She's going to get there. Wow. Oh. If that's, she didn't. That's a really nice shot. I mean she made it look easy. Look. Down goes the three. Cubal travels down. Perfect speed for the four. So she can barely see it. Yeah, Monica. That's all she has to. Just barely see it. That's perfect. Yeah. A nice coming up for the five. She goes one. She likes to use the one rail. Perfect She's playing angle. Very she can follow this through. Shoot the six down mm -hmm. in the lower right corner. Now she should be careful stopping the ball. That's why I like what you just said is to follow it right through. I thought if she stopped the ball, she could stop it too soon. But she's going to follow, you said, you think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did that confuse you? Well, she put some. Uh, yeah, why stomp. so much? Yeah. And then, and then she got a angle that she didn't want to. So now the cube was gonna run into the seven. Just make sure you make the six. It's just good speed. You you yeah, it's nice yeah. and easy here. So the seven doesn't. Yeah. Like this. 
See now when you when you just get out of angle a little bit, yeah, like when she the way she got angle on, uh, out of the angle on the six, all of a sudden makes it the run out more difficult. Now she she's forced to have come with a good shot here. Just over to the side and yeah, and back to the middle. She's been playing good though. Nice one. She's steady player. Very steady. And her, her I mean, I've seen her play a little bit, not but not commentating mm -hmm. in a match. Then, then you bec become more um, in tune, in tune, yeah, in, yeah. in into players' uh, game. You know, they kind of where the weakness is, kind of where uh, the strength is. You know, that goes to nine. And she, she her one of her strengths is she shoots well. Well, she's been coming with some really good shots. She has. Nice, nice tempo on her stroke. Nice yeah. swing. What um, I can see is just a few shot selections where she should use two rails instead of one. Mm -hmm. For example, on the four there, she should have come up two rails instead of one. Okay. Because if you look, if you use two rails instead of one, it gives you more Con space to for error. You know, in speed wise, more coming control in on the cue ball. Especially you can watch Space, Efren yeah. and, and Earl playing, right? There's the typical. They always, if they have a chance, they rather use two instead of one rail. I, I, I agree, totally. John racking the balls with the arrow rack. So a long week ahead, or a few days ahead. We have three Soon days we're left. Have this is day three of, of this world tournament. Champions. Yeah. champions. Come Women's and, and the teams. Keep in mind, folks, this is uh, George Teja and Marka Shamat bringing you the live action for this Predator Worlds Women's 10 Ball Championship. If you just joined us, this is a uh, second round, one loss side match. Both ladies tasted defeat, and both ladies have a win. 5 2 in favor of Monica Zabek from Poland. She come up dry, huh? The yeah, cue ball's in a good place. So we need a safety from Rubel in here. Two balls out of play. Well, she's got a clear shot on the one, but it's a tough one. And there's no reward. She, I don't think she can get position on the two. Back there we see Jürgen Beckman, Billy Beckman. One of the sponsors of this event. Watch out. Oh. Barely made a rail, almost. I, if, if she would have hit that two ball, it <laughs> might not have. No, uh, the four ball. The, the four, four ball. Yeah. It might not have made a rail. Close. Watch this again. Yeah, so if the one didn't hit the rail there, she, Monica would have been have a ball in hand here. Now she have to kick it this. Nice one. Wow. Nice speed. It's going to be a safety. Almost. Well, yeah, nope. Left it open. Yeah, the four balls there to stop the one ball. So another safety from Rubel in here. Yeah, back up to where the cue ball is now, you think? Oh, let me see. I think she's going to try to leave more space. Uh, you were right. She was trying to get behind the eight, huh? Yeah, behind the eight or the six. Yeah, that's good speed. I kind of like when you said more space. I like the distance going further back and use the six, eight. Use both of them. But it's still a tough shot. And she can hit the left side of the one ball to try to bring the cue ball behind the two, two, uh, ten. So she's gonna not have the cue ball. You mean the object ball? You mean? No, the cue ball. Huh? She, I said the 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 one you ball is blocked on here? the left. Yeah, the cue ball. Yeah, but over. she can only see the left. Yeah, correct. There's a nice kick. She was trying to kick, uh, kick up the one, up table, right? right leave right. the cue ball here. That's a, that's a safety that we used to, used to use way back when. Do you remember ever playing a uh, two-foul ball in hand in, ten no. in, in nine ball? I didn't, you play, never did I didn't, that? I didn't play back then. You're not that old, huh? <laughs> when we first started playing nine ball, it used to be 
two ball, I mean uh, two foul ball in hand. Mm -hmm. So you could push Straight out opening. to yourself and get take the shot and uh, proceed to shoot if they let you shoot. So Carol here, two. Play the four, yeah. Nicely nice done. One. Come straight up towards the middle. Not easy, not super easy, this. No, it's just make sure you make it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice speed. Gets easier from here. You stay in line now, Rubelin. Don't get out of line. Make anything stupid. You need to win this eighth rack. You don't want your opponent on the hill. This is their third match. That flight back to Manila is long. <laughs> and it's gonna get worse if you lose this match. Don't fall short, Michelle. It's okay. She can draw it straight back. Where she's pointing there, see? Yeah, well, she won't be heading back to Manila. If she loses this match, she's still in the teams. Yeah, yeah. Thirty thousand euro first prize, twenty thousand euro second, and twelve. Thirty thousand euro. If she wins, that's a lot of millions of pesos. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I think ten thousand is one million. Wow. No, no, no. Excuse me. Sorry. Five hundred thousand. So yes. twenty thousand is one. She's she will be a millionaire. Pesos. Ten thousand U.S. It's. That's the same, same as 500,000 pesos. So if it's 20,000, it's 1 million. Yeah, and, ri and right now the euro and the dollar are pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, they're not too far apart. Well, this will bring one, one back. 5 3. Favor of Monica. And she'll be breaking. Sabak. So all women's matches this morning. Matas is on the next table. April is there playing. Alice is on, Alison Fisher is getting ready for her match. Oliwa Yuki, Japanese Oops. lady, pressing up. John Lehman is here, racking the balls on this beautiful Prado table. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go to a two-minute break and be right back for, with you. And we are back at the World Women's Ten Ball Championships in Klagenfurt, Austria. At the beautiful Sports Park Hall, home of the Ocean Academy. 
Jasmine Ocean and Albin Ocean. Albin, a world champion. Jasmine, I believe, has a world championship also. Lots of European titles. And in contention for this tournament, trying to get a big one here with a lot of support from the hometown crowd. Yeah, so they took a timeout. <laughs> well, let's bring you some scores then. Um, Kai Kai won three to one over Claudia Van Roor. Natalia Romer over Ashley Burroughs, four to one at the time. April Larson leads Boriana Sarats, three to two. Veronica Urtova trails two to five for Lynn Jorsvik. Lena Jorsvik from Lina, Norway. Lena yeah. Jorsvik. Okay. Tina Vogelman leads two to one over Kennedy Maiman. Veronica Menard, uh, I believe she's from Canada. She played last night in the team events. Leads three to one over Julian Schurman. And Olivia Zaleska leads six three. She's on the hill against Adriana Villar. Sandra Baumgartner over Chantal Stadler, 4-2. Amalia Matas leads Anna Rigler, 5-3. And Seo Sauer Soya leads 6-2 over Zing Ting Kuo. These are all one loss side matches. It's the second round. All players in that that I just named are, play are fighting for their uh, tournament life there. So Rubelin on her way back to the Kay. arena. And the finding end. herself five games to three down. I guess this really strong Polish player in, in Monica. Well tell Sabe. me a little bit about the Polish players. You're over here in Europe. They have a contingent of about oh seven they champions. Seven they have a bunch eight. of good players. There's Mishko, um Shevchek, um, there's so many. Zelensky. A young man, a 20-year-old young man, is playing very, very well. Yeah, but they have, they have a champion. whole uh, football team. <laughs> yeah. Well, they baseball have a team anyway. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah, they have uh, Kaplan is here. They have uh, Skunetsky. Oh, yeah, the, the list goes on and on. And they're all so strong. Oh, yes. Conrad Shushushin. Shushushin. Yeah. Wow. Just player after player. Yeah, let's take a look at see um, some of the matches coming up. You have uh, Yuki Hiraguchi over playing uh, Lina Premis. That'll be uh, at okay. 11 a.m. Vanya Franco and Yu Wenhei. Here comes John Lehman. Ready, Ready to go. start the main start match. The match. Salamat Po. It means thank you, Po Tagalog. In Tagalog? <laughs> Salamat po. Breaking from almost the center. Thank you, she said. She grabbed the cue ball. And now, the comeback is on. Filipino. Little off to the side. Came up dry, though. Yeah. Opportunity for Monica here to extend her lead. Uh, do you think that was by design? She wanted to hit a little bit off to the side? No. No, she was trying to hit right in the yeah. middle? Yeah. Because it still looked pretty solid, but... Um, it just, was just a hair off. off. Uh -huh, just a hair yeah, off. Yeah, a hair off, and then you kind of lose the cue ball, bring it from the middle. I think she could smooth this and get over to the left side. She lost the cue oh, there. Oh, yeah. I, don't I didn't understand where she was going, kind of. She hit it so hard. Well, if she would have hit that with, you know, less speed, it was, I, I thought, it was the way yeah, to play yeah, the shot. Yeah, I thought yeah. she did found just one Sweet. rail up. Nice and easy. Now mm -hmm. she's going to roll the cue ball behind the eight, I think. Like this. It's nice speed. Perfect. Oh, wow. 
touchy shots. Those are shots you wouldn't play in the Philippines, right? <laughs> <laughs> it would never make the rail. <laughs> well, it rolls, but it's just a matter of how you're going to move the cue ball around. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the problem, you know. <coughs> nice kick, nice hit. So another opportunity for Monica after that nice safety she made. Yeah, and she's left a nice shot here. She's got a nice shot, excuse me. Just play that cue ball towards the eight. High right. She's usually inside. She wanted to stay down. She did the same thing as she did the other time. Yeah. I have to I have to show her this shot later on. Yeah, High right. Uh, yeah, it towards the eight. The yeah. Yeah. The, the it was the exactly. same shot she had the, the other time. She mm -hmm. come underneath. Yeah, and she tried to stay underneath it and, and, with, and held it up. And the thing about new cloth is that uh, inside let's, let's English see what she's doesn't do grab. Here. She's got a good shot. She's going to follow it down. One, two, three. Let's come to shoot the four in the lower. Oh, she missed it. Wow. Maybe she gets lucky. Maybe she, uh, she, she got does. fortunate there. This is... So Rublin calling the three in the corner pocket. We saw a shot like this on the highlight reel. Mm. Ah, and this straight is in for Monica. A little bit of work here, and she'll be on the hill. She'll be at six, looking at seven to win the match. But there's a lot of work to be done. Make sure you don't hit the five here. Yeah. You don't want to hit the five. Then you're going to be hooked on the four. Follow it in between like this. Perfect. Not too straight, but she's okay. She got a slight angle. She can draw the cue ball back. Underneath the nine? Yeah. yeah. She wants to follow oh, it. Oh, she wants okay. to follow it. So. Let's see if her nerves can hold up. She's getting closer and closer to the finish line. She just needs two more games well, in order for her to get to the next round of the Lucy side, knocking out the two-time world champion. So I want to get by nice the ball one. here. Oh, very nice well one. shot. Perfect angle on the six to come up in the middle of the table. Just one rail up. If she lands good on this seven, I think she's gonna be on the hill. Now she used that shot, see? So she knows it. <laughs> she knows it. Composing herself, make sure you don't any do anything silly here. Playing the angles. Nice. So, I, I think she's gonna, she's gonna be on the hill here. I like and the a major upset. One of the favorites. Yes. Might be yes. out of the, the the women's world championships here. And Ruby Lin will. Uh, if if she takes defeat in this match, she was beat by the German player Ina Kaplan and a very strong Polish player here. I feel like Rublin hasn't really played bad though. It's just no. that the, you know things have gone uh, Monica's uh, way. You know this is far from over. I think if Rublin get an opportunity, she. I was going to say I think Rublin had a couple of opportunities and then. On one of them, she rolled up behind the ball and lost position. Mm -hmm. 
and um, and then she was able to take advantage of that. Down error. goes the ten, and she's one game away from knocking out one of the big favorites in this World Championships. She's on her way to defeating a two-time world champion. Steady. She's been playing steady. When she has opportunity, she runs out. And she's going to take a timeout, regroup herself, trying to finish this match in a good way. If she gets a chance, a open shot, run out. And we will go for a short break and we'll be right back with you guys. We are back. Monica breaking the ball. She balls. made it. The one in the corner. And is she? Does she have a shot? Or she can see it, and she can make it. Just a matter if you want to go for it. I think the three ball blocks a scratch. Six and eight, ten are tied up, so it's not an easy, easy out. For sure. So she's looking at the two here. She wants to shoot. Now she made it three, but so that Ruben will be back at the table. See, would because, you because she didn't make the two, yeah. and she, she made another ball it means that turn goes over to her, to the opponent. So Ruben have show options. She can put. Monica back on the table, or she can shoot herself. Well, would you put some put somebody back at the nah, table I'll here? Play safe. Yeah, uh, safe. put the cube behind the nine. Sure. Ten oh, she went the other way. She went distance. Not bad. This is good. Also, oh. good shot. So let's see if she's gonna kick at it, or if she's gonna go airborne and jump over. Problem with it with jump is if you don't do it well, you're gonna break up the cluster. Yeah, right. If you if you yeah, hit, hit if them, you, if you do you like to kick you better than the jump? <laughs> I'm looking. I think I think I would kick it. I think I so. I, I, or I, yeah, I, nah, I, I I'll like probably it. go airborne. I think because if you miss the, the two totally, you you're gonna be in trouble because you're gonna be hooked behind the nine, big time. So she she did good as long as she didn't totally mess it up. Good play. Nice shot. Well executed. Yeah, she just made sure she made contact with the two here. Nothing nothing crazy, right? Make sure she didn't break up the cluster, too, mm. like you just mentioned. Executed the jump shot perfectly. So Rubelin using her extension. You have one extension per rack. 30-second shot clock. 
extension. So she's making sure she wants to what she wants to do. Laying down a good safety. Well, Rublin cannot afford to uh, to lose this rack. Nice safety. No, not afford. She's going to be out. Yes, that's why <laughs> yeah, she can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> At this moment, she have the knife against her her neck. Don't lose flinch. lose the match and be out of the tournament. But she's still in the teams, though, mm -hmm. carrying that big, big one of the superstars. Filipino. Nice shot. She broke up the cluster. That's not what she wanted to do. Well, she was trying to kick underneath it, a little bit too thin on mm -hmm. the two. Well, she's or thick. She's left the shot, but the cue ball is going to travel to the left. No, that's going to hang. Dude. So opportunity for Monica here to take one of the big favorites of this <laughs> event out of the tournament. Not only put her to the loser side. She's going to be out. And Rubelin told me, finally we're playing big championships again. <laughs> after the, well after the, oh, Ooh. she was trying to play rail first and totally missed it. Well, you know. It was laying deep in the pocket, see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Deep shelf. <coughs> she, yeah, she took a, a chance there. Because I thought she can just well hit straight in yeah, and, and just elevate kinda, kinda a little let bit. Let it float off the rail. She'd yeah, been okay. Elevate and uh, you don't want to give Ruby in any air opportunities because she's going to try to do everything she can to come back. Well, she's proven that it, she's a two-time world champion, so she's proven that she has a lot of comeback in her. You don't win world championships by just uh, running away with it. By luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no? I thought I you can win so. world championships by luck. You, you can? You know? yeah, I, know. I don't believe it. You need you need some some luck, you know, but luck is something you create. You one know? One of the things I have always heard players mention regarding tur tournament Ooh, play. No. Oh, my. Is you gotta she get rushed a, it. A good draw, good rolls, and... And, and take advantage of opportunities. I don't know if that was nerves or totally careless. Felt like either one of it. She is, that was just a easy yeah, shot she, for her. She knows what this means. She closed her eyes. She's yeah. This needs to, to hurry up. Otherwise she's got more angle than she wanted to be. One of the things I just noticed in her interview with her uh, before the match, she was talking about being a home player, having a table at home. How do you settle your nerves when you practice at home and then come out and play champions? In other words, most people that play, Ooh. a lot of pool at this level spend their time playing stiff competition, tough competition. They don't play at home and practice. She's from a small town. So how do you, how do you work your nerves to where they can take a pounding because that's what they do. Well, some players li like Monica. She, I guess, she told me she likes to have a table at home because she can practice by herself things. Mm -hmm. But obviously, she also have to compete. Right, and that's otherwise what I'm it's impossible to win this kind of match. Oh. You can't just uh, bury yourself at home mm -hmm. for a year and then come out one play one tournament and think you're going to go really good. This Down goes the, the ten, match. then the Filipino star is out. And she's Monica happy? is all happy. Monica Zabek oh, defeats Ruben in Oh, look at this. She knew that was a big match. Oh, yeah. Big. And she played well. we'll be Steady back. game. We'll be back at 11 o'clock. All right. Wrap this up. Thank you, for uh, George, for uh, for this match with its superstar from Philippines. She's yes. out of the tournament. And Monica played a good match with happy faces. Thank you, everyone. And we'll be back at 11 with the next round. Awesome.